If you want to get better at the strategic Clifton strength, or you just want to be better at strategy in general, stick around. We're going to talk about five ways that you can do that right now. Hey guys, Jordan here, author and destiny catalyzer. I help people discover their ultimate purpose through self-discovery. The Clifton Strengths are just one way and a great way at that to do that. You can check out more about the Clifton Strengths in a video I made up here, but otherwise you don't even need to know your Clifton Strengths in order to find value in this video. As I mentioned, we're gonna talk about the five ways that you can just be better at strategic thinking. Let's jump in. Strategy number one to get better at the strategic Clifton strength is to play a strategy board game or video game with friends. Board games and video games are definitely not all bad if you utilize it to stretch your mind and to grow with what you're already good at. Take that time and you'll start to flex your brain and you'll build that strategic muscle. Number two is to have regular goal planning sessions. As a goal freak, I always want to talk about this stuff. But if you are a strategic thinker or you just wanna get better at this, you can start with planning out what you want to do with your life and what your goals are. Get super strategic, start prioritizing your time. Be ruthless about saying no to the things you don't wanna do. Look at your overall schedule, do a time audit. Start to figure out, okay, I love strategy. Maybe I already love strategy video games. Maybe I'm just someone that says, hey, I can take all these patterns and figure all this stuff out but are you applying that to your own life? Take some time for yourself. Think about what you want to do and make it a priority to plan ahead this week for your goals ahead. Strategy number three is to make decisions more quickly. Now you can do this if you want when it comes to email. Stop spending so much time deliberating and rereading emails and instead, you know, type them out and send them. Start to trust your gut on what you're sharing. You're gonna save yourself a ton of time and you're gonna grow in confidence in general. As I said, start to trust your gut. Don't spend so much time deliberating. You may already know what the right thing to do is. Just make the decision and go do it. Strategy number four for becoming more strategic is if you see something, say something. Now this does not apply to airport security in this case, although that's a great mantra to live by, but in this instance, it applies to providing feedback when you see a better solution. You have a strategic mind. Start utilizing it by sharing with other people. Even if you're an introvert, even if you're someone like me who does not like telling someone else when they're wrong, start to work in ways in your life where you can start to share your own strategy for things with other people. Your strategic thinking can go a long way in helping other people. Strategy number five is to spend time meditating to clear your mind. It is hard to be always strategic all the time. Sometimes you need to take at least a few minutes. And this especially works if you're just at your desk Take a few minutes and just sit there and pause and just give yourself time to think. This is great for any strength out there. You can apply this as gen general wisdom if you want, but especially for strategic thinking, you need to have a clear mind and a clear brain. This is just one way to do that. Hopefully you enjoyed those lists of five things you can do right now to get better at strategic thinking. I want you to like this video and comment below with any questions. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and last but not least, do not forget to check out my latest book, Catalyze Your Destiny. I'll link to the book below where you can go and grab that, but otherwise have a fantastic day.